Hi, this is Emmanuel. Today we're going to talk about how to run one-way ANOVA in SPSS. Okay, so a one-way ANOVA is used when we have data about one categorical independent variable and one quantitative dependent variable. So for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to look at how fertilizers, different types of fertilizers affect crop yields. Okay, so for the purpose of this lesson, we are having three different types of fertilizers. NPK coded as 1, SSP coded as 2, and potassium fertilizers coded as 3. Okay, so that is under our variable view. So let's go to data view. Here are the various um, information that was collected. And uh, quickly, let's go to analyze under analysis. Under analyze, we go to compare means, then we go to one way and over. Now, we are going to um, select the dependent and the independent variable. So, how do we do that? The yields, the crop yields, are dependent on the type of fertilizers that are used. Okay, so we know that the yield, the crop yield, is the dependent variable. And the fertilizers used are the independent variable and we should note that the independent variable should be at least three groups so for this uh, um, data the fertilizers that are used are of different three different types okay so we go to our option on the option click our descriptive statistics our homogeneity of our variance brownish faucet and uh, wilt test then we click ok then for the post hoc to talk about the interaction between these three fertilizers, let's check our Toki significant level of 0 0.05 and OK. And having done that, so click uh, OK. All right, so here is the result for the descriptive. For NPK, we have a total number of 32, the mean of 173.76.7570, and a standard deviation. So from this standard deviation, you observe that the standard deviation is quite high, telling us that uh, the data are far apart from the mean. The standard error also is quite uh, uh, large, also telling us that the, um, the data are dispersed or far away from the mean. Okay, that is for NPK and similarly with uh, our SSP and potassium fertilizer. Okay, so for our test of homogeneity variance, you observe that there, there is no significance. Yeah, this is telling us that there is no significance. Uh, we would want to avoid it being significant. Okay, so uh, since it is not significant, then it has met our assumption of homogeneity of uh, variance okay so so we say that it is not significant okay so there is no significant difference all right so uh, that's that's that in check we go to the next one now uh, here is our another our another result we have the group uh, between groups and uh, within groups and we have um on our f our f statistics and our p value here of 0 0.001 which is um, lesser than 0 0.005. So we say that we reject the null hypothesis and say that there is a significant difference between the three fertilizers as regards the crop yields. Okay, so we move down to our Welch and Brown's test. You see that there is a significant uh, difference here and also a significant difference here, which, is a, which means um, of equality of means which means that our data is very much correct. So for post hoc tests, post hoc tests shows the interaction between the three fertilizers, okay? So for NPK and SSP, from the p-value here, there is no significant difference, but for NPK and potassium fertilizer, we see that there is a significant figure. Now for SSP and NPK, of course, from here we see that there is no there is no significant difference for SSP and potassium One. fertilizer. There there is a significant One. figure. There is a significant figure. Oh, now for potassium fertilizer and NPK, there is a significant figure. 
a significant difference rather and for potassium fertilizer and SSP there is also a significant uh, uh, difference all right so this is um, how we run and interpret our one-way analysis of variance thank you very much and uh, if you have any other question drop your question in the comment section thank you very much and do have a lovely day